you know we are known for bringing you the biggest best in the literary world right now so we're not gonna stop there i got something for you and if you have not picked up this book i sincerely implore you to do so so what book am i talking about the trifling time of nathan jones wow i mean i literally was in awe of this book so like most readers when I pick up a book, the first thing I look at is the back of the book. Uh, I not only look at the synopsis to see, okay, will this be interesting? Uh, will it keep my attention? Because there are so many books on the bookshelves, and that's very, very important. Another thing that I really look at is reviews from other readers. Uh, this is something I always explain to my book club um, at every meeting, why it's so important that we do what we do as far as reviewing a book. Because, uh, and from an author's perspective myself, I know that, you know, I could say my book is good all day, but when a reader is picking it up, they're looking at what are other readers saying. Uh, so that's something that's very, very important. And the first thing I noticed was that they were reviews off the charts from very, very respected. Uh, other book clubs are respected in this arena as well. So I don't take that lightly. I said, okay, I know I'm in for a good ride. And Nathan uh, Jones' story, really, uh, Moses Miller, who is the author, he brought it he brought it on every single arena i was so excited as i was reading it i was telling other people look this is something that we're gonna have to you know tell my book club yeah we, we might have to pick this as one of our uh, reads for next year we're booked through 2009 but 2010 this book i really want to uh, look at getting it on our readers list so i definitely definitely would recommend it so what is uh the trifling times of nathan jones with an intriguing title uh what's it about okay uh back in 1985 uh, two young boys, Nathan Jones and Joseph Hayes, both of their lives are changed forever in a blink of an eye. Uh, a drugged out maniac literally mows down Nathan Jones's parents and cold blood kills Joseph Hayes' parents. Now, the interesting thing about this is these two young boys never knew each other, never would have came into each other's lives had it not been for this incident only is this for the better or for the worse you know if you think of i couldn't even fathom a parent of mine being killed in such a way couldn't even fathom it and the first thing if i was in that situation that i would feel towards the world is okay nobody understands my pain and where i'm coming from so the interesting thing about this story is these are two young boys that are bonded by the fact that here's someone else that knows exactly where I came from and what I'm going through in my life and you literally take this journey your heart pours out to these boys because we're not talking about boys that you know were born in the hood they were born with pretty okay lifestyles their parents were able to do okay for them uh, you know buy them what they needed they, they weren't rich but they didn't struggle as much either until the situation came out so you just almost want to reach out and touch these young boys and really show them you know that there is love out there in the world even though their parents are gone and enters Carson who uh, in many ways you can think of him as the father the godfather of the two young boys and he brings them together and his story is very very interesting I really don't want to give away too much because I'm, I definitely want you to pick up the book but Carson is you would think at the beginning that he is oh wow this man is he's man enough he's taking on to these two young boys and wow what a great mentor well keep reading i'm gonna stop there because i don't want to tell too much just <laughs> keep reading anyhow as the story progressed uh one of the things that i also thought intriguing about this story was the author did a wonderful job of answering questions that people uh they want to ask, they want to know, uh, and, and may not necessarily ask. The urban genre has is something that's uh, been around for a while now, and a lot of people are writing books in this genre. What Moses Miller was able to do is write uh, what his publisher's tagline says, intelligent street fiction. And when we say intelligent street fiction, it, it, it really was, I, I really felt that. I felt that. It was street. It was in the hood. It was about, you know, what they were going through. These They had to do some things to survive, but I didn't feel like I was reading it, except for, you know, except for the dialogue from the two young boys. 
they their terminology was street and hood and all that good stuff. But everything outside of that was highly intelligently written. It was very well written. And that's something I definitely could appreciate because uh, while I understand slang terms and uh, my book club members may understand slang terms, uh, the fact that the book wasn't entirely written with slang terms makes it something that can transcend, meaning any culture can pick this book up and read it, get it, and understand it, which again is very, very important. Uh, another thing that I like to point out in this book is it really gets your mind thinking. When you have, you know, most people look at somebody that's in the hood and street and they rob and steal and thieve, and, you know, they thinking that that's just who they are. And uh, this story really is different because that's not who these kids were. They, they weren't just some no lice, you know, some, you know, thugs or whatever. They just weren't that. They were looking for love. They were looking for life. They were desperately wanting to find solace in a very difficult situation just to try to piece their life back together. But it, the, flat, the way that the book goes, it flashes back and forth from their present to their past and intertwines the two. And the way that it's done is brilliant because it really gets you to understand why Nathan was picking up a gun or why somebody died in, in the beginning. You read it and somebody, you know, so there's a shootout going on. Okay, why is this happening? What led up to these circumstances? And it really sheds some light that everybody that is in the street, of the street, may not be there. You know, and it, which is so true. It, everybody in the street is not just evil or whatever you know there's so many stigmas out there they're just oh you know the, the the type of stereotypes that have people clutching their pocketbooks and and, and elevators which is ludicrous it's, it's honestly stupid especially now in 2009 but it's still happening and the fact that this story took back in, in 1985 uh brings it even more to light because it it, it really it, it was it was so raw but i felt like i was there it read literally like a movie like i could i could see it just as clear as any television show. I compared it to Law and Order or CSI or any other police drama that you think of, but in a different way. And I just urge you all to pick this book up and determine your own opinion. But I guarantee you that you will not be disappointed. Just as many of my peers in the literary industry have rated this book an awesome action packed thriller, I do the same respectfully. This book is very, 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 very good. And I look forward to reading the next part because at the end it had me like, no, what happened? Oh, my gosh. I was literally like talking back to the book like I was somebody's talking at a TV screen or a movie screen saying, no, don't fall down. You know, it was like, <laughs> it was like that. So, again, I applaud Moses Miller on taking um, some, some steps to do a book that is – in a, in a common genre, but it's not common. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So my rating, I gave it a five. It was articulate. It was clear. It ha didn't have a whole lot of errors at all. I don't think I even seen uh, any errors in the book. It, it was very, 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 very good. And I loved it. So with that being said, I would like you to pick this book up right now. Tell about five of your friends to tell about five friends to get this book and support this author because he's doing big things and I look forward to seeing more great things from him. And uh, to view more on this author, feel free to uh, visit our website www.rwabookclub.com where we'll post his website if available, um, his email, what have you. Uh, but mostly just go ahead and or you can Google them, you can go on Amazon. Certainly they're available anywhere bookstores books are sold. So um, definitely pick it up. Visit our website to find out more on other authors, read, see more video reviews and more written reviews as we will post them regularly. Again, this is Nakia Smithers for RWA Book Club TV, and I am signing out.